up in Wollongong, um, down the south coast of New South Wales, and uh, played for the Western Suburbs Cricket Club down there. Um, then obviously went through the Illawarra ranks, and then and then decided to make a move to Sydney and played all my cricket at Sutherland Cricket Club. After Sutherland, I suppose, uh, worked into the New South Wales ranks, and obviously in Australia and, and a bit of county cricket as well overseas with a few different counties. And I was lucky that I was playing in behind two of, two of the great openers um, in Hayden and Langer, and. You know, it probably kept me focused on trying to stay at the top of my game and, and make sure I was ready when there was an opportunity. If someone got injured or or someone lost a bit of form, I'd, I'd get a crack. And um, they they didn't lose form um, too often, so it was a matter of me me just keeping knocking the door down and hoping that, hoping that one of them would finish playing. <laughs> I mean, as far as dealing with selection goes, I think it's just a matter of yeah, staying at the top of your game and taking selection right out of the equation. If you if you get picked, you're doing something right. If you're not getting picked. There's something you need to work on, or you just need to wait and be patient. Um, you know, I, I think um, getting bitter about it, or, or um, you know, letting it affect your game is probably not the right way to go about it. Because then you do you do slip back away from where you need to be, which is at the top of your game. Steve War, you know, he was a, he was a great leader, real hard nosed cricketer. He definitely knew how to get the best out of people. You know, and I think um, you know I learned a lot from that. Um, and playing with guys like Simon Cattage and Brad Haddon, I think they were they were two real lead by example sort of cricketers and um, you know they're really good role models I suppose to you know to forge your cricket career around. I was lucky enough to have Steve Rickson at, at my grade club as well. I think he was a he was a really good mentor as far as you know teaching teaching me exactly again the, the disciplines and the um, what it takes I think uh, and then now I'm in the coaching ranks. Uh, start off with New South Wales and and Sutherland as well doing some club club stuff um, and then into you know New South Wales assistant coach and now head coach at Queensland. Yeah, it was something that always um, always interest interest me, and I, I suppose while I was playing, I was always thinking like a coach, and you know, trying to th think of ways of in, always improving my game, and uh, you know, trying to help other people uh, get to where they wanted to get to as well. And and now, um, you know, now that's obviously the focus. It's um, yeah, it's really rewarding uh, to be a coach. Oh,